Probably the biggest challenge when coming up with an idea is the idea itself, execution, all the different technical aspects of it um, come second. But how do you spark an idea? Uh, I was sitting with a friend of mine in a uh, coffee shop and um, he just kind of works as a salesperson in marketing for a company that does high-end you know, finesse controls for um, heating and air conditioning. Now these guys put heating and air conditioning systems inside of uh, like Argonne National Laboratories. And the thing is, they have to be within a certain spec of uh, temperature. The temperature can't be more than like a tenth of a degree off, which is insane. But their experiments, these guys are doing this postdoctorate um, dudes are doing, um, they're very fussy about it. So uh, it was kind of bad back and forth. We thought, would it be kind of fun to have like a VR experience where you, you're at a, one of your sales, um, like a, uh, an expo, uh, um, you know, a business uh, exposition, and you had a, a booth there. And the booth was set up with a VR, and you people walked in. And they're all looking for HVAC systems and controls for these kinds of things. So what if they walked in and they they put on VR and they experienced something? And just to trigger, just kind of trigger myself and just force myself to think creatively. I said, well, wouldn't it be kind of cool to have like a an experiment that they could look and see what was going on and what was going backwards and what was you know like if the temperature went up and down like how that would shift this experiment off and then he thought well it would be better if it wasn't realistic it would be kind of nice if it was sort of a cartoony you know he even mentioned despicable me and I said well you know my immediately our creativity both of our creative juices started flowing and he said well, wouldn't it be great if we had this mad scientist who was trying to blow up the moon because you know every mad scientist wants to blow up the moon give me a million dollars or I blow up the moon and of course it's in a volcano because every mad scientist operations in a volcano i mean you've seen uh, incre the incredibles um so he's in a volcano because the volcano's shifting temperatures his experiments that he's working on this this crazy uh, mad scientist they're working on this doctor you know some equivalent of dr evil working on this whole thing and his laser is like pointing at the moon but it's off you know a certain degree and he he goes and reach, runs over to the thermostat and turns it and now it's too hot and he turns it back down to AC on because now the the volcano off in the distance is, is going off and you know shifting he's having to shift the thermostat and nothing's working right and you know as you you're in the, here in his laboratory actually seeing this all happening and you can touch stuff and you can you know push stuff and you can play with the uh, thermostat if you want to like he yells at you and says you you adjust the thermostat make sure it stays on and you know stays within a certain threshold and you know you can't nobody can do it and that's you know that's like the pain point of sales is uh, you can't get this system to a third certain threshold so you're fighting it and fighting it and fighting it anyway that was during lunch as usual i can't walk right into and start sketching something out or sit in front of a computer and start modeling stuff something out it just doesn't work that way for me i forced myself to go for a walk so i've been taking about a about a half hour 45 minute walk to the beautiful lake shore here in chicago uh just to get my mind off of it but not off of it but it's on it but i relax i let the let the music play i just put on headphones and just sort of sit and jam and let the idea still and eventually very quickly actually i get an entire image in my head of everything including the guy the the uh, scientist his, his props his table the shape of the kind of conic shape of the um volcano in the background I'm just gonna take a piece of paper here it's a napkin and a, and a pen and sketch out a couple shapes kind of get the idea down but force myself to, to not go too detailed stay kind of sketchy and uh, see what comes out of it so I'm gonna do a couple sketches and I'll come back to uh, the process of going through like five or six iterations of this doctor this uh, mad scientist and um, come back and see if we can get a couple sketches We'll take a couple of the best ones and we'll go through some iterations in ZBrush, model them out in Maya, rig it, build the environment, go through the entire process of putting it inside of a VR uh, setup and hopefully getting some triggers set up. We're gonna go through the initial, just a proof of concept so I can sell his company on the idea and uh, maybe trigger some, some of that marketing money my way. So, uh, you know, 
pay for my pay for my toys and my time. All right. So this is a process, the beginning of the process. I wish I could be in, involve you in the initial discussions, but my brain is kind of whirring right now. Um, I got a lot of other things to do, but I think I may make this my my every day for a little while. Make different elements for this for an everyday project until I get enough going that I can send back to him. Get some feedback from him because he's kind of a crazy guy himself, artist as well, uh, and see if we can get something something interesting going on. Um, I just think this VR animation can lead to a lot of cool and interesting things. I'm just trying to sell the uh, concept to as many people as I, I possibly can. I might be shoehorning it into places where it doesn't fit, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. All right, enjoy the day, enjoy the week. Uh, it should be beautiful next couple weeks. Um, if you're watching this in the middle of winter, I'm sorry. Go find someplace warm. All right, bye.